Come on. That makes us a little bit confused. Is everyone all right? We are, Celia. Thanks. Did that woman make it to town okay? Yeah, thanks to you guys. I'm glad you made it to them, Michelle. Same. Thank you for letting me know where they were. So I could do something. No, I'm the one who should be grateful. You stepped in and fought with my team when I couldn't. They'd have been toast if not for you. Right, Leo? Uh, yeah, right. Jeez, I'm getting thirsty. We can stop by the tavern for a drink. Oh, but please don't try to order alcohol. You're too young. Getting arrested for underage drinking would not be noble. Relax, I wasn't gonna. Thanks again for earlier. Are you hurt? No, thankfully. Hey, Dad. Why do beasts attack people? Hmm. Why indeed? Well, first of all, not all of them do. What do you mean? Well, the beasts that farmers raise don't attack people. Nor do the steeds that you see noble types riding around. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. The only beasts we need to watch out for are those that most people know as wild beasts. Oh, and ethereals as well. Hmm. In that case, why do scary beasts attack people? Hmm. <laughs> why indeed? We get all kinds of rumors. I've heard dark tales about their bloody Chancellor, and the people who fight under him, too. Yeah. Alexandra, the White Wolf. Bastion, the Black Wolf. And Laplace, the Red Wolf. Together, they're called the Three Alphas. Can the Federation handle those guys? Psh, we'll be fine. After all, the Federation has me. The brave and noble Leo Foucault! Yeah, I'm sure that balances the scales right out. Living things in this world are made from a substance known as mana. If mana disappears from a living being, that being will perish and turn to dust. Thus, we must thank the primordial beasts, for they are the source of all mana. Are you all right? I yep. As you see, I I'm doing just fine. Thanks for asking, Michelle. Um, yeah. Sure. Hmm? I gotta say, though, Leo, I wonder why you're so much kinder to Michelle. Actually, you don't have to tell me. It's pretty obvious. Sh shut up! It's not like that! Seriously? You sure? Guys... Who are you guys? 
guys. Us? We're a team from Blaze. We're here to protect you. What's Blaze? Well, a member of Blaze is a cadet who's committed to protecting everyone. Really? Really, really. Cool! I want to join Blaze when I grow up! You'd better work hard then. You're a scientist, right? You're supposed to be smart. So how did you fail to notice the spy working beside you? Well, he was a hard worker, you see. You didn't see any sign that he was planning to run? None at all. But a few days ago, he did look awfully pale. I asked him what was wrong, and he said he was just busy with work. That's trivial! Don't you have anything else? No, nothing. And I take it you're with Blaze as well? Oh, can you tell? Yeah, we've seen a lot of people passing through, wearing the same uniform as you. So you're after a fugitive Imperial spy, huh? Yeah, you know anything about him? Not a thing. You know, living here, it's easy to forget sometimes. But we are at war with the Empire. Ice croquettes with every meal. They're soft, but crispy too. Huh? Do you want one? Just take some rice, mix it with ham, shoots, and chopped mushrooms. Cover that with flour, fry it all up, and you're done. You should try making some yourself. Finally here, huh? At least you made it. I won't ask you what kept you so long. Hold on. Were you expecting us? When we left the Academy, our orders were pretty vague. We weren't told to come here, were we? No, you were not. But if you did the least bit of field work, you would have quickly found out that the spy in question was last seen heading to the village we're speaking in now. Ah, uh, makes sense. If we'd gotten to do field work, we'd know that. It isn't my fault! I was just... Do refrain from shouting in the tavern. Behave yourself. Tell you what, I'll hear your excuses outside. Uh, right. Instructor, why'd you come here in person? I'm here because I received reports from the other teams saying that the spy was sighted near this village. So, where are the other teams now? They're already out investigating. I thought this might happen. It seems we miss quite a bit. 
while we were out there battling those beasts. Wait, you were battling what? N never mind, ma'am! Anyway, we've confirmed that the spy isn't in the village itself. Got it. So we think he might be hiding out somewhere nearby? Yes, and he doesn't have too many options. There are only two places he could hide around here. The first is the Anthuan Forest. Lucian and Vanessa are searching there right now. And the other is a cave called Echoing Hollow. Where we sent Yelsey and Maxime's team. And we should go catch up with them. We need to prove ourselves as best we can. I see. I take it that the two of you agree with Fulcad? Unfortunately, yes. I never was one to give up easily. Same here. So let's get going. I see. Well, if you insist. Your team is free to act as you see fit. Yes, ma'am! Whichever way you go, you'll want to leave town through the gate on the left. Mr. Fulcod, that's the side you hold your fork with, okay? Do you know how many primordials there are? That's easy. Nine, right? Right. But, can you name them all? Uh, yeah, of course I can. Let me think. First, there's Aglaia, the Panthera Lord. Then, uh, Tarulhan, the Ram Lord. Then you have Jimslay, the Serpentus Lord. And after that... Uh, why don't you take over, Celia? Oh, brother. There's also Haliu, the Avian Lord. Sankara, the Aquarian Lord. Watamusubi, the Cryptodira Lord. Lazui, the Canis Lord. Bozak, the Rhinoceros Lord. And then Origin, the Creator. Perfect. Nicely done. I know them all too, of course. I was just testing to see if you had kept up with your studies. Uh-huh. Ah, what do you know? If it isn't the kids from the Night Academy. Who are you? Wait, really? That's not very nice. Did you seriously forget me? We met way back when you were inducted, remember? The name's Gaspard Herbe. And for aspiring knights such as yourselves... He's a perfect bad example. Quite right. I'm a perfect... Ugh, well that's downright rude, Lisette. It's a fact. Actually, Gaspard here... is with our intelligence network. He reports to the Vicar, which puts him quite high up in the Federation's ranks. Typically, when dealing with someone of his rank and status, You'll want to treat them with deference and respect. That's exactly right. You tell these kids what for, Lisette. Be sure to teach them how to give me a proper salute. But fear not, cadets. I, Lisette Renier, officially declare that for Blaze students under my command, there's no need to pay this man even the smallest courtesy. If this should lead to any problems, I will gladly take full responsibility. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Why are you coming at me with this macho aggression? Relax, Lisette! And on that note, you're dismissed. Don't let this man waste your time. Roger that!
What's the matter? The other teams left from the village's west gate. I can't believe this. Why'd you tell them to snub me? They're acting like I'm not even here. I swear. What are you teaching them at school, Lisette? Listen, I'm here on a key mission to... Ah, Michelle. Do me a favor. And patrol the village a bit. If you're gonna steer your students away from me, could you at least try to be subtle about it? Hey, Lisette! I've actually got some helpful info today. Back in the forest again. The other team should be somewhere up ahead. Right. Let's go do our best to catch up. Hey, just so I'm clear on this. What's the guy we're after supposed to look like? Seriously? We were given his full description. At the time when the manhunt was just beginning. It was the first thing they told us in class, remember? Oh. What was it? Yes, he's a man pulling a large load, wearing the coat of a federal researcher. Like a lab coat? Why would he be wearing one of those? It seems this Imperial spy was undercover in a Federation research lab. And when his cover was blown, he apparently ran off in a big hurry. He must have been in a real hurry. If he forgot to ditch the lab coat he was last seen wearing, after he made his escape. Guess that explains all the eyewitness reports, huh? Yeah. Apparently the coat really stands out. going straight from here, right? Right. And so you know, that road on the left leads to Colton Village. Man, how am I supposed to remember all this geography? Even if a certain path isn't relevant right now, it could be on a future mission. So at least try to get them down. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We should probably assume that the spy thought to lose the lab coat by now. Well, that's a bummer. What does that leave for us to look for? Do we even have any other clues? Actually, his looks don't really matter right now. This is a really dangerous area for civilians. So if we see anyone wandering around out here, that in itself is enough to make them a suspect. Right. Good point.
Structural is that's pretty scary, huh? When she looks at me, it's like I'm a pole wiggle getting stared down by Jim Slay. Why do you think that is, Leo? Because you're usually up to no good, maybe? <laughs> we should actually be grateful that she's so strict. After all, it's helped to make us who we are today. Well, yeah. Bring it on! left. Does it say... Lasant Village. Yeah, that road leads to our hometown. <coughs> uh, who was that guy again? No one Lizette brushed off like a wad of dog hair. Oh, Mr. Gaspard Air Bay? Mr. Air Bay is an agent with the Vickers Intelligence Team. He seems kind of hard to read, but I bet he's actually pretty good at it. Didn't look that way to me. But whether he's skilled or not, I bet he gets up to some dirty stuff behind the scenes. Honestly, you should know better than anyone that it's bad to judge a book by its cover. Huh? Well, why would I know that? Hey guys, I see a clearing up ahead. We haven't seen any sign of our spy yet. And we still haven't caught up with either of the other teams. You're right, but still, we just gotta keep plugging on. Look at that, guys! Isn't this from the coat? It looks like it. You think some wild beast might have... There's no way. There'd be more evidence. <gasps> hey! Watch out, you two! <laughs> Did this thing kill the spy we're after? I don't know. But it's vicious enough that I don't doubt it could have. Watch out! Seriously? Let's try that again! Ah. Take the dead! Hey, um, don't you need a rest? Here! Ah. Come on! Ah. Seriously? Ah. I'm so happy right ah. now! Here! Come on! Yeah. 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 Come on! Ah. Take that! Ah. Ah. Let's try that again! Set to go, Leo? Yep! I'm ready! Yep! Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is Come what on. Phoenix tastes like. Bring it! Yeah. Oh, great! Very noble, Leo! Come on! Come on! Yeah. Oh. Oh. This is the Fukat family way! We can handle this, right? You go! Definitely! Did we get it? I think we did. That was a close call. Yeah. 
Good thing there was only one. If there had been more of them, it could have been bad. First years. You okay? Wait, Vanessa? Hold on. Why is an upperclassman here? I'd ask you underclassmen the same, Leo. Unless I'm misremembering. My team was ordered to investigate this forest. Yes, but we're here to, um, you know, help you out. On a side note, your technique's as amazing as ever, Vanessa. We're members of an elite organization. It's a given that we can do that much. Agreed, Lucian? <laughs> Sorry, but I wouldn't go that far. Even amongst the likes of us, your prowess in combat is quite exceptional. So don't let her rattle you too much, little ones. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. This blood spatter seems a bit unnatural. I think this scene must have been staged. What would that imply? Could this be a trap? That's a safe assumption. I imagine he was trying to lure his pursuers here. In the hopes that they'd run into those beasts. He's keeping his cool even though he's on the run. And it seems he knows quite a few tricks. This man is not my ideal enemy. Mine either. Well, regardless, we've probably been led down the wrong track. That's likely. But the fact that he started setting traps like this could be a sign that he's starting to feel cornered. Which means there's at least a chance that he's still around. Gotcha. Here's an idea. Why don't Vanessa and I stay here just in case, whilst the three of you poke around elsewhere? I'd be glad to, but... Are you really sure? Go ahead. We don't mind. Thanks for trusting us with this. We'll see you. All that being said, that scrap of cloth proves that our quarry was here recently. The three of you did well to find it. Oh, that was all Celia. She's always had good eyes, if nothing else. If nothing else? I'm impressed, Celia. A perceptive eye is a great asset to have on the battlefield. Um, thank you. By the way, there's an unusual creature in the caves ahead. Unusual in what way? It's called an Uchilchil Girufan. It's said that it can take on the form of a human. Uchi... Uchilchil Girufan. Don't let it trick you, alright? Got it! 